It is turkey season, and I have a shotgun and a tag, but this is private land just right here, so they safe. Maybe I'll be able to grab hold of one later today. As soon as I uh, saw this log, I regretted not bringing my steel, but uh, this little electric DeWalt's doing pretty well. It's light, it's easy, that's for sure. If you've been following along for very long, you're going to recognize this hike. Uh, that's because this is the uh, lowest area, kind of the lowest access into this wilderness area. So usually I like to uh, close out the, the fall by making one last trip in here and then I open up the spring by coming in here again. Um, I could have come in probably earlier this year on snowshoes, but I'm also thankful not to be carrying snowshoes. I hope I don't regret that. What has changed since uh, last time I was in here, there is a tremendous amount of moose sign along this bottom. There has not been before. Uh, and more ominously, two different sizes. So there's a, a, a cow and a calf in this bottom, in this willow bottom here, and uh, that's definitely the most dangerous animal we deal with out here. So I'm gonna be keeping Rocky real close and we're gonna just ease our way up this uh, drainage here. Rocky and I are in the middle of a calorically expensive detour up this hillside. There's a, the trail's completely blocked with a down tree, like no wriggling over under. So we're working our way up slope around here. All right, buddy, let's go. Go ahead. Go, go, go. That's where, that's where we're going. We gotta go somewhere. How up there? You gotta keep pulling, mush, mush. There you go, you got it, buddy. Rock, far enough.
I first took uh, an animal with this shotgun back in 1978. Ptarmigan up in Alaska and after that uh, it uh, definitely reckoned for quite a few uh, rabbits and uh, snowshoe hares and ptarmigan. Um, probably on this trip it's just eight pounds of training weight but still the lightest shotgun that I have and uh, I have seen turkeys up here so I thought what the heck I'll carry a shotgun which is the only legal way to kill a turkey right now and uh, yeah, see what happens. Well, we've got some elk up there thinking about coming down through. I don't know if they're going to decide to or not. Well, now she's just over there grazing. It's really hard to see her through all this driving snow. Or grapple, I guess it's more like. He's being a really good boy. I'm just watching these three gals, or four gals, I guess they're over there. And they cannot decide what they want to do. They were grazing right towards us, and now they're just not sure what to do about us. So I'm going to eat. Maybe they'll come in. Well, they eventually decided to just kind of drift off up the hill. Not exactly where they came from, but decided they didn't want to come down in here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to stay right there. This is uh, one good use for a serape. It's a good dog mat during mud season. It's uh, it's back to snowing pretty doggone good out there, so I thought, well, we'll log her up for a little while. Hello ladies. I take some satisfaction in being the first person into this basin most years. It's, uh, it's fresh. It's as if I'm one of the first people into the country to get in here when it's kind of reset to its more natural condition really is a blessing. And for me, it's a good way to mark the passage of the years. I think back to the different times I've been here and what it's been like each spring. It's a good thing. <laughs> 